Welcome to Pocket Coaching this week with Dr. Kate. I am excited to talk to you a little more this week about what to do when we're feeling overwhelmed. I recently posted a blog about what happens when we are trying to manage all of these spinning plates or all of these plates in the air in a time that I had where I was doing a lot and feeling really overwhelmed and I was having a discussion and a conversation with a mentor of mine, a supervisor of mine about how I had a lot of plates in the air and how I had let some drop and fortunately they bounced, they didn't break. But what if we let the plate break? What if that happens? Then what? What if we decide to take down the plates before they break? Maybe that's the way that we can consider not taking on so much or not overdoing it for ourselves or warding off our burnout before it happens. And I like to utilize the sage power of exploration when we get into these times. So when we find ourselves feeling overwhelmed or maybe we've had a plate drop, it's a great time to do some introspective work and just explore what it was about that plate that meant that maybe it wasn't top priority. And so some of the questions that I like to ask myself in these moments are, will this matter to me in one year, in five years, in 10 years? If I can't find the significance of what's on this plate in those time frames, then maybe it's not something I need to worry about right now either. Another thing to think about is, is this a stepping stone to a goal that I want to achieve? Meaning, is this something that if I accomplish this thing, it will actually help me get closer to a bigger goal or vision I have for myself? Is this a way of getting to that space? And if so, is it important to include that step in my life right now? Next, I like to explore if this is something that aligns with my core values. Is this something that significantly enhances my life and brings me alignment with what my core values are? Things like being loyal, being of service to others. And if those things are in alignment, then I can find different ways to conclude and keep this plate in my life. Asking, does this thing or what's on this plate bring me joy, excitement? money, freedom, whatever your desire is, does it deliver you those things? And finally, asking whose voice is behind this plate or this thing? Is it a voice of our one of our saboteurs, like the judge or hyperachiever or pleaser? Or is this from a sage power where it's the place of growth, learning, or empathy? Can it help get us to those spaces of power, of growth, learning, empathy. And then knowing no matter what, it's okay to put the plate down. It's okay to put it back in the cabinet for a little while. It is okay to throw the plate out if that's what needs to be done for you. Because if you are struggling with putting the plate down or putting it away, it's probably a voice of a saboteur coming through. And you want to listen to it to see if there's a lesson there, if there's something that you need to explore more. But ultimately, just know that it's okay that the plate breaks. It's okay that you take it down. It's okay that you don't have everything spinning in the air at all the time. Thanks for joining me this week on Pocket Coaching. You can check out the full blog on my website. And I'm excited to join you for a recovery moment where we think about our core values this week.